Does Earth rotate clockwise? Hmm. Let me save you some time by telling you that Wikipedia says that Earth rotates eastwards. But more importantly, the world is burning. And if you want to know how we can save the planet, watch this next video. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to On The Mandel Piece with me, Sasha Mandel. This is a segment where I would like to share with you uh, my realisations. My realisations about the world and where we are going. There is a particular rebellion uh, that is uprising and I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'm talking about Extinction Rebellion. This is a group that I had no idea about until two weeks ago. Uh, I know, bad. What this group is, I believe, is a rebellion that is trying to shift perceptions of climate change. We're in a situation where the world is going, woo, woo, woo. The way that it's being perceived by the media, by the news, well, it's just not that serious of an issue. But this group, this group I have been told is filled with CEOs of companies. It's got celebrities, it's got real traction, it's got university students. It's a rebellion like none other before. I read an article. This article was by a publication called Vice and the article was called The Radical Plan to Save the Planet by Working Less. It was written by someone called Leila Lal. I will put in the notes below, hopefully you'll be able to connect with her. It's a great article and in this article she outlines a number of things but the two things that really stuck out for me were the Green Deal and the degrowth movement. The Green Deal. What is the Green Deal? I don't know. But what I do know about it is that it is currently being pushed through Congress by an up-and-coming rising political star, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. She's also got a great Netflix documentary, so I would really suggest you, you watch that as well. I think, personally, she might become president. Who knows? Only time will tell. But the Green Deal, what is it? The Green Deal is a pledge to make America have 100% renewable energy by the year 2030. Yeah, that is a tall order. Even though I think Britain have also asked to pledge for uh, net zero emissions by 2050. These are all, you know, being bandied around, but how, how this is being done, I have no idea. I would love if anyone has any ideas or, or any sources that would be of interest to me, please let us know here. We want to learn more about the Extinction Rebellion. We do also have a very good friend of mine called Olivier Hubbard. That's the name he goes by anyway. He's an incredible actor. Uh, he's also an activist for them. And he, he performed some spoken word at their event. Uh, their event took place on the 20th. There was this kind of huge rally for 420 and the Rebellion Extinction. So he performed there. Great place, I'd love to have him on the show. So what I believe the Rebellion is doing as well is if you get enough heads towards one problem, you will solve it. I have a feeling that we are in an incredible time in life. We are in a time where we are, as a species, on the brink of getting to the next level. But what do we have as an obstacle in the next 80 years is that we're either going to make it or not. So this is crunch time, people. And we need as many people's heads to solve this problem. One of the ways that we can solve, potentially, uh, the problems that we face is a movement growing in popularity uh, called degrowth. It's the idea of reframing progress and economic growth and maybe realising that these aren't the ways forward and that actually we don't just know what what's going on on an individual level, but as a society, we are just making guesses as how we can move forward in a healthy way. Critics might say that degrowth is a utopian idea and that it wouldn't work, but we need to get heads 
an energy towards this idea. The more economists that we have, the more, the more uh, scientists that we have to understand how, how we can solve this problem is, is key. And I think that what's happening with this Extinction Rebellion is that they are putting eyes, they are putting eyes on this situation. I believe that as a group of people on this planet, we are all chasing after one thing. We are chasing after progress and economic growth. And we are like a herd. We're all moving in this one direction and there's this huge energy towards this, this one goal. And what I think Extinction Rebellion is, is a nudge. It's a tiny nudge in the other direction. And that's all potentially we need for the whole of the world to change their mindset. And so I believe that the growing of this rebellion is vital. So please, if you want to get involved, I'll put their link below. Guys, you've been gorgeous. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much for lasting this long. Just before you get off the toilet, please subscribe. And if you're extra special, tinkle that bell. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. I even signed up to TikTok, but definitely, definitely not Facebook because that weird alien man is reading our minds.